Hey guys, Prendonia Productions here, and welcome to another Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition tutorial. Now, I received a comment on my channel from an undesirable freak. <laughs> no, really, that's his uh, username. Undesirable Freak said, Hi, I would like to ask something regarding the Visual 2008 Express Edition. Is it possible to customize the design of the form box instead of it being a traditional Windows box? Thanks. Well, Undesirable Freak, um, thank you very much for your request. And sorry you can't read it because it's on my other monitor. But today I'm going to teach you how to do exactly that. Create a Windows program that does not really look like a Windows program. So first thing you want to do is start a new Windows Forms application, like always. I'm just going to name this one Visual Test. I know. Awesome, right? So then we wait for it to load. I'm going to pause the video. Alright, so now that the form is loaded, um, so you have your basic form here, right? And everybody knows that right now it looks like a traditional Windows application, which it does. But um, people want to know how to make it look like something more unique, so it looks like you have more control over your program. Okay, so first thing you actually want to do is figure out what size the uh, program is going to need to be, because there's no way to change this after you start. So let's just say I'm making a pretty decent sized program. I'm going to make it like that big. All right, and now you're going to go into the properties of your form and select and check off a couple options. The first option you want to select is, uh, wait, let me let me find it. Form border style, and then you're going to change this to none. Now you'll notice that the form looks really kind of ugly and gross, but that is okay. Now once you've changed the form border style to one, you are ready to go. Okay? So you're gonna need to get the dimensions of your form. So you're just gonna want to go into your form properties and go down to where it says size, then if you maximize this with the little maximize arrow, you'll get the width and the height. Alright, so now you want to open up a basic image editor. I'm just gonna use Microsoft Paint for this example to keep it simple. Alright, so Microsoft Paint opened. Now if we go back into our application, we notice the width is 764. So we're going to change the properties of this image to uh, the width be 764. And then once you change the width, you're going to want to change the height to 322. So, And keep in mind that all of these uh, dimensions are in pixels, not inches, not centimeters, but in pixels. Okay, then we want to press OK. And you'll notice the decent or the actual size of this white box right here that we're going to paint on is the exact same size as our little gray box here. So what we're going to do is just create a basic design of a window. I'm going to create the background a nice little yellow color. Keep in mind I'm not the most artistic person in the world. Then we're going to make our little uh, title bar thing. Keep it a little bit looking like a Windows window. Okay, let's have some text that goes across here. Whoa. Change the font down. Jeez. Okay, so I'm just going to change the text to say Brandonia Productions, etc. that. Okay, now we need to make a um, close button, minimize button, and maximize button, of course. So, make a close, maximize, minimize. Okay, hopefully you could keep in mind that I am still not a very good artist. Now you're just going to save this picture anywhere. So I'm going to save mine to the desktop. And make sure it is in PNG format. That's the quickest to load on a uh, uh, picture that you're using in your program. And you always want your program to be quick. So mine's going to be PNG and it's just going to be called title. Alright, so now we need to import that picture into our project. So we're just going to scroll up to where it says in our form properties we're going to scroll up to where it says background image then we're going to press these little dot dot dots and resource context we're going to change it to local resource then we're going to import a local resource save mine to the desktop then you're just going to want to press OK now if you notice it's the same exact picture and the same exact style as uh, our actual picture that we drew and it's the same exact size as our program but the problem is when we run this program 
right? So it's running. You cannot click on any of these buttons, right? So that's depressing. So we're just going to have to change that so the buttons actually do something. So we're going to use a tool called the Panels, which can be found in Toolbox, and then Containers. We need one panel for every button, so we're just going to drag three panels in there. All right, so now that we've got our three panels, we're just going to name the panels uh, for which buttons they'll be. So this panel, Panel 1, in its properties, we're going to change the name to Close. Right, and this one's going to be maximize panel two. I'm going to change that to maximize. Panel three is going to be minimize, so we're going to change the name to minimize. All right, so now we just want to drag the panels over our buttons. So we're going to resize this panel. This is panel close. And we're going to just drag it right there, resize it a little more. There we go. That's good right there. Alright, now this is panel maximize, so we need to put it on the maximize button. Make it about the same size. Alright, now we're going to change panel minimize to be over here. And since I made minimize longer than all the rest, I have to make it longer. And there you go. Okay, just ignore that error I have down there. All right, so these aren't the best panel jobs you can do, but you know. So now when we run the program, if we hover over the things, you'll see the panels are there, and we do not want that. So we're going to have to actually make the panels transparent. So we can do this by clicking on the panel, then changing the background color to web transparent. If you do this with all the panels, Now we can see our buttons in the background. We also want to change them so that people know that the buttons actually do something. We're going to change the cursor to hand. So this makes it every time the user puts their cursor over these buttons, it actually changes to the hand. So yes, we're going to do that for all of these. All right, and now that we've got that, we'll go to the coding. So you want to double click on the panel, like the little drag thing here on the panel. Wait. Okay, double double click. Just double click somewhere in the panel. Okay, so now I have close paint. Now what this is, is that's actually when the panel gets drawn on the screen. So that's as soon as the program loads up. We don't want that. We want it when the panel is clicked on. Now it's click. So when the panel's clicked on, we actually want the program to just end. So we'll use our end command which is simply end. Now we do the same thing with the other two panels. This is maximize. So once again we change it to mouse click. And we want to maximize the form. So what we want to do is form one dot window state equals form window state maximized. So this just maximizes the uh, the form. But when we type this code we get an error uh, down here where it cannot be referred to itself so we just need to change form 1 to me since we are in fact referring to the form and we're in the form already. So we're going to do the same thing with minimize except me dot windows state equals form form window state minimized. Alright so now we've got our basic program uh, with our customized textures and our buttons. Let's see if it works. Oh, it minimized. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, right. You might have caught this when I was doing it. The minimize button. I did not change it to minimize mouse click. So we're just going to change that and copy and paste the coding right there. All right, we've got about 20 seconds. Here we go. So if you notice, when we go over the buttons, the mouse actually changes to a hand. Minimize works. Maximize. Whoa! And then close. They all work. So, hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching. Uh, I think you should have a great day today. And, uh, yes, 
please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in later tutorials.